right everybody welcome to your fourth node.js tutorial my name is Mehul and in this tutorial we'll be looking at how you create your own server in node.js or basically how you just create your basic first server in node.js so that you can just get the thing started up so in the last tutorial we took a look at what is require function and uh, how you can just work with it with just some methods and variables hooked up to the response of the require well in this tutorial I'm just gonna show you how to make use of this require function to import something called HTTP now this HTTP is a module so this is a module and we'll be learning what modules are which uh, may be in the tutorial um, 5 or 6 or whatever well this is 4 I guess so yeah so I'm just talking about the next one so anyways I'll just take a look and would you know you would obviously see the videos in the playlist by now so what is a module we'll be discussing in this module tutorial but why the heck haven't I used this thing right here instead I just simply made use of this thing well I told you that I'm just gonna tell you that in the module um, tutorial but hey you know I'm a nice guy so I'm just gonna you know just quench your thirst by just letting you know why I have just written it simply as HTTP and not a dot slash HTTP so in this file what was the case is that this methods.js is our local module so I'm just making use of this I can just either make use of like that or like that well obviously I would prefer highly prefer using this approach instead of this one and why the reason being let's just say let's just assume that require or oh, sorry the node has a official module with a name http.js let's just assume so what happens if I just create a new file in here and just name it http.js so when you include it like that so node obviously doesn't know which one you are referring to to your own local module or to the global module which is available to your script so that might create conflicts and irritation as well so to avoid that what node.js did is it said that you should always make use of this to load all of the modules which are local or basically which are coded by you so if you have an HTTP.js file here then this would simply make node happy and node would say that alright so that is a nice code line I see there and I'll be happy to load this HTTP.js file for you and here you go and blah 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 and the story continues so anyways getting back to the tutorial so in this tutorial what we had to do is to create a simple server so HTTP is another module provided by node and using this you can just create a simple server and for all of those who are still wondering what the heck is a server let me just show you a simple example to demonstrate that uh, let me just close the unused applications and yeah so that's pretty much it so let's just say this is this is my computer which is the user which wants to visit your site and let's just say this terminal is your server so whoa okay so well what the heck is that well who knows and who cares actually so there you go and now what happens is that this is server and this is programmed to receive some you know interaction from remote computers so what happens is that when your you your browser or your computer tries to access my server my server executes a lot of scripts on its own computer first and all of those scripts are coded right here so all of these scripts which I'm writing here are just executed on my server before sending them to the user so once they are executed and are ready and basically all of the scripts cooperate and know that yeah we are gonna send this data and we are not gonna send this data to the server for this request then your server sends some data to the computer which is requesting 
that particular data and that's pretty much it how the server client interaction works in a nutshell so okay so enough of talking and just let's just finally do something so server dot create server and uh, let's just say this is engine and what I want this is to listen to any port you like so I'm just gonna go with 1337 because why not this is the lead ports so let's just make this engine as blank so what happens when I visit this site right now so localhost 1337 now as expected this would not work obviously because we have not you know we have not even started fired the node inside the terminal so it should probably not work if it works then there's a problem with your code <laughs> well obviously so now the next thing is that this create server accepts a function as I passed in here and created a dummy function kind of blank function here so what this function accepts or what these parameters will be will be look, uh, looking at that real soon but what this listen is so I hope you should know this but if you don't then here's a quick you know just a quick mini tutorial on what this port number is so every website has a URL syntax something like you know the protocol protocol which is your HTTP HTTPS then your subdomain which is optional some sites don't have www some some do have then your website name then your top level domain then your path and for this you have your port so path and why not just complete this out and then you have the query then you have the string and then you have the hash so that is the maximum information a domain can contain and correct me if I'm wrong because I guess I'm right so you know a typical URL pick up any URL you have and you could eventually split that URL up into all of these components which I have written so yeah so what happens is that this 1337 is this thing right here which is the port number and default HTTP port is 80 so if you do like something like example.com let's just say and if I run it on port 80 as you can see Google Chrome automatically removes that because that's some obvious thing similarly for the HTTPS the default port number is 443 and as you can see Google Chrome again removes that because it is obvious and if I do like 8080 or any custom port then Google Chrome won't remove that because that might refer to some other port well since Google doesn't work on this port so this word kinda not load well I don't want it to load either so what this listen does is as you know now it would just say to the local host to the local host yeah so local host would be our guy here so listen to this port and this port is this web address so obviously it doesn't listen to it right now so let's just fire off node and let's just say node script for .js and as you can see your node doesn't quit now because you know you are kind of creating a server right now so node needs to run in the background to see which application or which anything which computer is trying to access your website so if I reload this now and wait a bit you can see that it is not still this web page is not available though it is currently not loading because I haven't just worked upon this function very well this engine one right now so if I just go to this networks tab and reload this again you see we requested but 
it is just waiting for localhost it is simply waiting for us because there's nothing we we are doing right here at the server so just know it is just working and is just going crazy to us basically so it is just saying the why the heck you haven't programmed the server what the heck should i do to this user what should i send and all that stuff notice saying to me in my headphones right now so let's just go ahead and create some stuff here so inside the engine it would accept two parameters request and response so these two are obvious parameters which you can't even think about if you give it a little bit time because obviously in a server you need something or some information about what the browser is requesting to the server and what the response you want to send to the browser so let's just say inside here I want request let's just re leave request for now let's just write a response dot right head now this right head would accept again two things here's the status code and here's the object you can say so let's just get started on that so status code is 200 and object is let's just say content type text plane which is the um, MIME type for a text file and response dot end hey there from the server and uh, so that's pretty much it uh, let's just try to run this again clear node script 4.js and 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 we have got something unexpected token whoa kind of missed that so you don't have to put the colon in the quotes as well so this is obviously an object this is the key and the value okay no problem and again notice listening to the server so let's just reload and voila you see that it says you hey there from the server so yeah so that's pretty much interesting and thrilling as well to see how your program is working and as you can see that this local host if I take a look and if I just go down you can see the content type here is text plane and I can add my custom header as well as you can just say blah 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 and from codedam.com and again if I just reload the server and reload the page as well you can see that it sends me this blah 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 from codedam.com header so yeah so that's pretty much it on this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll be taking a look at some more interesting thing which you can do with this server and uh, so yeah so that's pretty much it for this one and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching